Hi, I'm Jennifer with Resilient Life Therapy, here with a lot of great things to help your life hopefully feel better today. Um, so today I want to talk with you about a concept that applies to change. Often when people want to make a change, even if it's a really good change, they just find that they can't, right? You guys, change is really hard. And so even when we're in a situation or doing something that isn't great and we don't like it and it doesn't feel good for us, it's amazing how hard it can be to change that. And, and clients are often like, I just like, why is it so hard? I know this thing is bad for me. I know I don't want to do it anymore. Or, hey, I know this other thing is going to be really great. So how come I can't change? Because change is hard. <laughs> Change is really, really hard. Human beings, our nature is, for the most part, some people really like change, but for most of us, our nature is to stay with what is familiar and comfortable. Even if comfortable isn't necessarily the best thing for us, it's known and it's comfortable. So I'm gonna talk with you about this concept of whatever pain burns the brightest. And often um, when I give you guys quotes, I'm quoting somebody else. But this quote is mine. And that is what I say to clients is, look, whatever pain burns the brightest is the one that's gonna motivate you. So what I mean by that is, even if we're in a situation where we're uncomfortable and we're in some amount of pain, if the pain associated with change, with having to go through the pain of change, with having to jump into the unknown, whatever pain comes with change, if that pain is more intense, if that pain burns brighter, then we will avoid it. And we will stay in our current situation even if it is painful. Because that pain, the pain we know, doesn't burn the brightest. So this is a super, super simple concept, but really an important one because it is key to what keeps us stuck in situations we don't want to be in. It's a reason why people stay in relationships for years past when they know this relationship is toxic or this relationship makes me feel really bad. Um, it, it, look, it's not the only reason, right? Nothing is that simple. It's complicated, but this is a big piece of the equation because the pain that I'm experiencing isn't as bright as the pain I think about when I think about leaving. So whatever pain burns the brightest is the one that's going to motivate you. This becomes really important when you think about change. Because if you realize that this is a factor at play, you can actually lean into that. And you can realize, look, the pain of change is actually burning brighter for me right now. That change feels scarier. That change feels bigger. That change feels more painful. So I'm just going to stay here. But if you really want to make a change, you can realize, look, this is going to require that I actually step outside of my comfort zone and I actually step into something that feels like a brighter pain. Because the alternative is that we stay in a situation, and I have seen this happen over and over and over and over and over. We stay in a situation until it gets so painful that the pain of leaving actually now feels less than the pain of staying. The pain of staying has started to burn so brightly that like we're willing to take on the pain of change, right? There is an old um, saying, and that is the, uh, you're a frog in a boiling pot, okay? So that's what this means. It's kind of an old folk tale. Now, whether this is true or not, I do not know, but I believe it's probably true, and I use it as an example a lot. If you put a frog in a pot of water, and you slowly start to turn up the heat. The frog will sit there in that pot of water and it will keep sitting there and keep sitting there actually until it's so hot, it's boiling, that the frog actually dies. 
right? So that's called the frog in the pot of boiling the water. Like the heat just gets, keeps getting hotter and hotter and hotter, but it's happening gradually. So we don't really notice until it's so hot that something catastrophic happens. Now, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't have to get that bad for us. But the point being, we, we will tolerate a lot we will tolerate a lot in order to avoid the pain of change. And so this concept is super important. So I'll say it one more time. Whatever pain burns the brightest is the one that motivates us, okay? So listen, I hope that this is really helpful today. If it is, you know what I'm gonna say if you've watched my other videos, and that is please share it. Um, we all need help, right? So if you know somebody who could benefit from this, hey, send it along to them. And if you liked it, Hit me up with a like, give me a like please, and also subscribe. Subscribe so you don't miss any of the other videos I've got coming out. Hit the bell when you subscribe so that you don't miss any of those videos. Um, I don't even wanna say this out loud because if I do, then I won't do it anymore. <laughs> but um, I try to put videos out on Mondays. I've been doing that, uh, now that I've said it, I obviously probably won't continue to be probably some pain that burns brighter for me. Who knows, right? Uh, but that's what I'm trying to do and that's my goal. So look for them on Mondays and I hope you have a great day. All right, pay attention to whatever pain is burning the brightest. That's probably what's motivating you. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Take care, have a great day. Bye.